Amiga X Swatch was what I would call a hype release. The Moon Swatch was a hype release. The Blompan X Swatch is a hype release. But sometimes you just need to give in to the hype. I gave in to the hype for the second time. Welcome back to the Chisholm Hunter channel. My name is Harrison, as always. And today we're talking about my new watch. We're talking about the Blompan X Swatch Scuba. Now there was five models released. You have the Arctic Ocean, you have the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean, and Antarctic Ocean. The model that I went for specifically was the Antarctic Ocean. Blompan is the oldest watch brand in the world. Not in continuous production, because that goes to Vacheron, but they are the oldest watch brand in the world, which is pretty incredible. They produce only 10,000 on average watches a year, which as well is insane, seeing as Rolex produce a what, about 1.1 to 1.2 million. Just think of that for a second. Blompan actually produced one of the first dive watches in the world. So there's lots of stuff that makes Blompan a pretty incredible brand within the watch community. And I say that specifically because it is maybe more of a niche brand. Wow, listen to that. And because of this, there was definitely outrage at this collaboration. People didn't want the brand of Blompan, that historic legendary brand to be devalued by this collaboration. And there's two sides to this. Did it devalue it or did it spike the attention to the brand? Let's have a conversation. Here's the thing, and here's why I think this is a really smart collaboration, but not just a smart collaboration, a smart ordering from Swatch Group. If Blompan had released the Swatch X Blompan before the Moon Swatch, it wouldn't be as big because it wouldn't have as much hype factor around it, around off the back of it. It wouldn't be reselling at the price that it currently is. I think some of the success is down to the Moon Swatch's success. I think they're riding off of that hype, so to speak. And I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing. I think it's just smart marketing and smart business decision from Swatch. Now, this collaboration was definitely not as huge as Swatch. It's definitely not as big. And this can be seen in the resale values. Roughly, these watches come in at 340, 350 pounds. And they resell for about 500 at the point of filming this video. Whereas we saw some insane prices for the Moon watches. I remember it being in Zermatt and I literally saw, after I bought mine, one of them going up to 1,000 pounds, which is just insane for essentially a plastic watch. Now, when it comes to the monetary value and the top sellers of this watch, there is a clear, distinct gap between who's first, who's second, who's third, who's fourth, and who's fifth in terms of resale value. So let's go through that list now and let's see who is selling for the most and why we think that is. Let's start from the bottom here. And this is quite interesting. The Arctic Ocean, which comes in this kind of dark orange color, is currently ranking fifth in terms of resale value, which subsequently means it's probably not as popular in person. So this is the least popular of the Swatch Blompan collaboration, which is weird because I would have picked this one first, but then after that, it would have been the Arctic Ocean. It's just strange how different people's tastes work in different ways. What do you think in the comments? Let me know which one you would pick. Coming in at number four, coming in its second last, essentially, is the Indian Ocean. Now, the Indian Ocean comes in green and orange, and you can kind of see why this is second last. Although I definitely put this above the Antarctic Ocean, in my opinion. It just, the, the green is maybe just too lucid for me. I'd like it dark down a little bit, but listen, this is essentially a toy or a plastic watch. The yellow is up next in third last or third from the top. In third place, that's what I should say. The yellow Pacific Ocean is what is next. And actually, the more that I look at this watch, the more that it grows on me. The first review that I did, I kind of slated it a little bit for being, for being bright, for being yellow. But I, that day, literally had a yellow jacket on. So I did not have a leg to stand on. So actually, this is, is growing on me. In second place, we have the Antarctic Ocean, which is my watch the best watch. And it comes in this beautiful white color with a gray natal strap and a gray bezel. It almost looks like muted tones of colors. It has a blue stripe down the middle just to give it a little bit of a pop, but I'm really attracted to this kind of color. Interestingly enough, if this came in ceramic, a white ceramic, I wouldn't like it half as much because ceramic kind of has a, kind of has a sheen to it that I'm just not 
not really keen on. But this, it looks cool. It looks blingy. And coming in first, we have the Atlantic Ocean, which is a beautiful blue colored, kind of dark blue colored model. Boring blue. Business blue, as I call it. Every businessman tends to go for blue dials, and they all look at me like I'm insane when I go for white dials. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them. I'm just saying that they are the most popular color in the industry. And they're the safest, one of the safest colors, apart from black, in the industry. Before we cover the basic specs of this watch and how it looks and feels on the wrist and why I got this model in particular, we're going to cover the most asked question on the internet at the moment. It was definitely, certainly the most asked question on our previous YouTube video. Does the Blompan X Swatch Scuba devalue the Blompan brand? I have a pretty strong opinion on this. And the reason I have a strong opinion on this is this is not genuine horology. This is hype. This is sneakers, fast-turning, resell stuff that people like to have because they can't get it. That is what this is. I'm not slating this in any way. I think it's brilliant for the industry, but that's what this is. Blompan is genuine horology, genuine handcrafted brilliance, genuine watchmaking, whereas this is essentially a plastic watch. Now, there's no devaluing this watch or Blompan, and... I believe that just because Canon, the camera company, release a entry-level digital camera that's this size doesn't devalue their cinema camera cameras that come in at 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 pounds. They're totally different products and people can appreciate the genuine nature of what each are trying to do. This is trying to generate some hype. It's a bit of fun. And I appreciate fun, and I like fun, and that's why I got it. Whereas the Blompan brand is a lot more serious. It's a lot more genuine and authentic and real than this. Now, when we get to the basic specs of this watch, you need to remember that this is a chunky monkey. It's a big boy. It's, it doesn't skip breakfast. It comes in at 42.3 millimeters in thickness and comes in at 14.4 millimeters in thickness, 42.3 millimeters in diameter, and 14.4 millimeters in thickness. But remember that because it has a double pass NATO, which basically means it slots under the belly of the watch twice, it actually slots it up off the wrist even more. So it's even thicker than you might think. This is a big watch. Now I have 6.5 inch wrists, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it wears far too big. It's a bit much for my wrists. Having said that, it is a bit of fun. This watch comes in at 48 millimeters lug to lug and of course comes in bio ceramic, which is what Swatch are claiming that it is. It has a gray bezel with kind of white, off whitey numerals and a white dial. It has Superluminova, which is actually quite good for a Swatch watch, unless something that really surprises me about watches and it never gets old is comparing the weight of each watch because I think that's how you can get a real good sense of the value of a watch. So in front of me, I have scales and I'm just gonna show you how much this actually weighs. So this watch comes in at 44 grams. Now that is technically just the head of the watch because it is in a NATO strap, but on my wrist at the moment, I have my Amiga Seamaster. Now this is a high quality, high value watch. I'm gonna put this in the scales next and show you how much that actually weighs. One hundred and five grams. So basically double, more than double the weight of this model. The movement in this watch is as you would expect. It is a System 51 movement, which essentially is plastic. It doesn't really have any metal components, but what it does have, which is quite impressive for this kind of grade of a watch, is a 90 hour power reserve. That's pretty damn cool. The Nudie Branch Sea Slug is the piece of wildlife that each color of these watches are based on. So whatever the color that your watch is, it probably corresponds to the sea slug from that indigenous area. So for example, the Pacific Ocean, it will be in the Pacific Ocean's colors, which is pretty cool to think about because these little slugs based on the area that it's in can either be white, green, orange. I don't know, life's pretty awesome. Now, where I did see a huge improvement in this watch comparatively to the Moon Swatch is on the bracelet, or not the bracelet, the, the strap. The NATO strap is actually pretty damn good 
for the price. And I like the color schemes. Now, on the Moon Watch or Moon Swatch, you got kind of a velcro -y strap, and I wasn't that keen on it. But they've definitely upgraded on this strap. In conclusion, I think that watches can get too serious sometimes. Everybody just calm down. Here's the thing, watch collecting isn't just about collecting APs or Rolexes or Pateks. Watch collecting is about the fun and about the journey that you go on when you collect any watch, whether it's a Casio or a Blancpanex watch or a Moon watch or whatever it is, it's about the journey, not the destination. And I'm on a pretty awesome journey. I like this watch. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do you like this model or would you rather the Indian Ocean or the Pacific Ocean? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed or follow our Instagram Chisholm Hunter Watches. Remember that we have an exclusive after hours deck available to our members only where we talk all things watches. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much.